welcome back to Buona Papa. Today I'm going to share with you a recipe that is one of the most popular and clicked both on my YouTube channel and on my post. It is a baby puffs recipe. And today we're going to try a new mix. Butternut squash, blueberries, chia seeds, egg-free baby puffs. <laughs> I've been trying many baby puffs recipes and I've been sharing with you the best ones. And I think that this one will be one of the most clicked in the future too, because it came out greatly. Uh, I've been refining the baking procedure for homemade baby puffs that I think is the tricky part when you prepare homemade baby puffs. And I've been also enjoying trying new mixture with new flavors. And uh, butternut squash, of course, is now in season and blueberries too. And I thought that the mix combined together was a lovely one for little ones. Of course, baby pumps can be offered to babies starting from six months of age. And these baby pumps, they are also egg free. So if there are any egg allergies in the family, so they are a good recipe to try. Let's start together this super simple recipe. And I will also give you some tips and tricks how to perfectly bake your baby puffs. First thing to do, I'm going to roast my butternut squash. I find that roasting the butternut squash caramelizes the sugars, the natural sugars inside the butternut squash and also dries out the butternut squash so that it's perfect for the baby puffs. How to roast butternut squash? Super easy. You're going to peel the butternut squash and I use a potato peeler usually. You're going to chop it in pieces, remove the seeds, place the butternut squash on a baking tray lined with some parchment paper and simply put it in the oven at 425 Fahrenheit degrees for 25 minutes. That's it. That's how simple it is to roast butternut squash. For this recipe, we're only going to use one cup of roasted butternut squash. So if you have more quantity from the roasting, uh, the, the full butternut squash, I do have many other baby and toddler friendly recipes uh, using these ingredients. So check them out in the link here below in the box. Let's go back to our recipe. We roasted the butternut squash. Now let's make the baby puffs uh, easy. You will only need a food blender and you're going to add inside the butternut squash roasted, the coconut oil, the baking powder, the baby cereal, and I use the organic rice baby cereal. You can use any baby cereal that you like. We are also going to add chia seeds, blueberries, and six tablespoons of water. That's it. We are going to blend everything for one, two minutes in order to obtain a smooth and creamy texture like the one in the video. Now get ready with one or two baking trays lined with parchment paper. And then you have two ways to create your baby puffs. The first one is the teaspoon. So just take one teaspoon of the mix and with the help of another teaspoon, drop some drops on the parchment paper, one next to the other, leaving some space in between. Second method, you take a plastic bag, you fill it with the mix, close it, you cut one corner and you simply pipe uh, small drops on the parchment paper. Both ways are fine, depending the one that you like. I find the plastic bag to be a bit faster than the teaspoon, but as I mentioned, it's totally up to you. Now, the oven. The oven is preheating at 350 degrees. Once you finish your drops of uh, uh, baby puffs, place them in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. Then reduce the temperature to 275 Fahrenheit degrees and keep baking for another 15 minutes. So a total of 25 minutes. And the baby puffs should come out nice, cooked and dry so that they will be able to melt in your baby's mouth. Tricks and tips. 
I did two batches to show you what it's a very common mistake while baking baby puffs. I receive in my comments on the blog, on YouTube, uh, many comments about that the baby puffs, they're, uh, they're sticky. They are not properly cooked inside. So the, the, the sides, they're cooked, but the inside is still mushy because that the reason the main reason is because the drops they are too big so if you see i did one batch with big drops too big as you can see and the result was exactly what some moms they mentioned in the comments the sides were cooked but look the inside the center is mushy it's not cooked so it's very difficult to remove the uh, baby puffs from the parchment paper I did a second batch making small half an inch, less than half an inch drops. And as you can see, they are perfectly dried, perfectly cooked. And look, they are super easy to remove from the parchment paper. So the size of the small drops is very important for, for a good baking. Also, what happens if you do them too big? and uh, you don't want to throw them away, of course. So no problem, there is always a way to fix things. Simply place them back in the oven at the minimum temperature, 275 uh, degrees, and keep them baking them 10 minutes at a time. So every 10 minutes, check them. And if they are dry, it means they are ready. Another way to check if they are done, if you can easily remove them from the parchment paper, it means that they are dried. <laughs> How to store baby puffs? You can store them in a container. I would not suggest to put the top because you do not want the moist to get into the baby puffs on the countertop up until four or five days. Or you can even store them in a container without a lid in the fridge for up until five, six days. Can I give Kia seeds to my baby? Yes. Kia seeds can be offered starting from six months of age. There is only one warning. Do not serve dry Kia seeds to your baby. You need to soak them for at least a good 15, 20 minutes in a liquid and can be the liquid already used in the recipe. Like in this case, we added water. So that basically they will enlarge. So they will double or triple their size and they will get kind of gelatinous. So they will create that kind of a jelly coat that will be easier for your little one to eat and enjoy them. Kia seeds, they are loaded with omega-3 fatty acids. They provide proteins and they have also a very high amount of fiber. So they also help bowel movements. That's the reason why you know, don't exaggerate with Kia seeds. The quantity suggested in the recipe are super safe, so don't worry. Another property of Kia seeds is that thanks to the omega-3 fatty acids, they are wonderful for your baby's brain and eye development and also cells growth. I really, really hope you're going to enjoy this recipe. If you want to check other baby puffs, homemade baby puffs recipe, please check the link in the area here below because I have a nice playlist only dedicated to baby puffs. If you want to leave me comments, please do it in the area here below. And most important thing, remember to subscribe to Buona Pappa if you want to receive every single week a new recipe from me. Ciao, ciao, ciao!